to that Billy. Sometimes I feel like I'm game on a mission and just drop 300 bars of this and I listen. Sometimes I feel like a pop, not to keep your head up rapping. Now I'm talking about the pop that'll spit in your camera. Talk about the pop that got him on that cold night. To say what he feel even if it cost him his own life. Live from Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the New York Mets going up against the Kansas City Royals. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. So the New York Mets are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So, Chris, what's their mindset heading into today? Yeah, looking to go three for three, Boog. They've already won the series, and now they can really leave their mark. It's all about having confidence, and that's what a team takes away from a sweep. So they're happy to win the series, but they'll really be riding high tomorrow with the win today. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set. And on the mound now, Brad Keller. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Brandon Nimmo at the plate now. That's ball one. First pitch, 110. The 1-0. And a swing and a miss. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. And a ball evens the count. 2 2. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. He's got it. And there's one away. Batting second, the shortstop, Francisco. Now Lindor. up to hit, Francisco Lindor. One home run shy of 200 for his career. His next home run will be the 200th in his career. It would be pretty cool to see it right here. In there, and it's 0-1. Oh, One down, base is empty. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Nice grab on the run. And there's two away. And now here's Jeff McNeil, one of the stars in the win yesterday, as he had three hits. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And first offering is fouled off. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. The 0-2. That one missed. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. And now the count filled up three and two. Pete Alonzo up next for the Mets. And a payoff pitch. Right back to him on the mound. The throw to first, that's out number three. And the Mets go down one, two, three. The Royals will get their chance now in a scoreless ball game. Back after this on the show. The 
Welcome back. Our starting pitcher in this one, David Peterson. Yeah, got the W last time out. Six innings, a quality start. Hey, if a guy will give you that, you'll take it every single time. Bottom of the first. Here's a speed threat, Bobby Witt Jr. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. And here it comes. There's a strike. Bobby Witt Jr., a second-generation big leaguer. His dad won 142 games in the show. The Royals made Bobby Jr. the number two overall pick in the 2019 draft right after Adley Rutschman, and he made his debut in 2022. Finished behind Julio Rodriguez, Rutschman, and Stephen Kwan for Rookie of the Year. Great crop of rookies. Ripped on the ground a second. Sends it to Vogel back. One up, one down. Batting second. The second baseman. Michael Massey. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. Two for seven in the series so far. I drive to short and caught. Nice swing and good solid contact. That ball was slow, but needed a little more lift to get into the outfield gap. Maybe a little more backspin. And to the play for Kansas City, Vinny Pasquantino. Three for nine of the series coming in. That one to first. Vogel back. Takes it to the bag. That ends the frame. KC down in order. Scoreless after one. Back here in Kansas City, second inning set to go. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. Alonzo. And the right hander back to work and delivers outside. So two balls and no strikes. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. And he deals. That's in there. Strike one. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. That's the third Dozier. Zips it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. That is it. The first baseman, Daniel. Daniel Vogel back at the plate. Pitch misses inside. One and oh. No strike. No score here in the second. Next offering is in for a strike. Time to look at our umpiring crew in this one. Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency on the corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit. So he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out, especially as the game goes on when you're expecting it to become more consistent. The pitch. Ball. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Fires to first. Out. Two up, two down in the top of the second. Batting six. The right fielder, number six. Starling. Starling Marte up to hit. Three for eight in the series coming in.
Check swing. He held up. And that's ball one. That's a laser base hit. So up next for New York, Brett Beatty. First pitch doesn't find the zone. At the belt and fires. Good eye right there. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. The 2-1. Marte of the move. Strike in there. Throw to second. He's safe. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on them and see if you can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. Marte at second with two down. In the air out towards right center. Eaton makes his way towards it. That one hops against the fence. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Safely into second, he's got a double. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock. You add a run. Man in scoring position with two away. Omar Narvaez at the plate. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. And first offering is fouled off. Now one and one. Check swing, but he went too Let's far. Going to count one and two. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. A flip to the pitcher covering. And that is that. One for the Mets here on the RBI double. It's an early 1-0 lead. You're watching Mets baseball on the show NYC. Bottom of the second. Now it's Fran Mill Reyes. The pitch. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. So now here's the DH. Edward Olivares. He's got four hits in the series on nine at bats. In there for strike one. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit.
batting. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Drew Waters stands in. A switch hitter batting right. Strike one. No ball. One strike. That's ah. in there, and it's nothing in two. Ball. And ball one. One ball. Two strikes. Foul ball still a one and two count. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Here's a one-two. And another Go. ball. It's a good take. Next one misses. And it's a full count. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Struck him out looking. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. The third baseman. Hunter. Dozier. Here's Hunter Dozier to the dish. On the ground. They take the force out, inning over. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. And welcome back. Now it's DJ Stewart. The left fielder, DJ Stewart. Keller back to work. There's a strike. And that one hammered. That's got a chance. And out of here. D.J. Stewart leaves the yard, and they tack one on the board. It's 2-0. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Here's Brandon Nimmo. He popped out his first time. And fouled off. Nimmo, in his seventh season, 30 years old now, he's been on a terrific run at the plate, hitting over 350 in his last 10. Here comes the 0-1. Foul ball there. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. The pitch. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there, and I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to whereas you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it, and not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. And that one fouled off. Lindor, a multi-gold glove award winner, a member of the 1000 Hit Club, and he was born in Puerto Rico. 
Look out! And it hit him. Well, a few things can go wrong when you are delivering a pitch. That grip, slip out of your hand, release point, wind up, all of those things. And I think it's safe to say at least one of those, if not more than one, got away from him. And that one wrapped foul. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Oh, and he dude. chases that one below the zone. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. 0-2 oh, now. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Next offering in the dirt. And the count is even two and two. The other way. Puts it away for the out. Here's Pete Alonzo. He's over one. Alonzo batting in the cleanup spot, and he's a former rookie of the year. And look That's out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Well, he's just glad they got hit with an off-speed pitch there the instead pitcher. of a fastball. Man, yeah, that would have hurt a lot more if it had bat. velocity. Vogel back no, takes a stop. ball as he stands in for the second time. Lindor, the lead runner out at second. Alonso at first, two out of the inning. And that is cut on and missed. And it's a ball and a strike. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. The pitch. Just oh. missed. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. The 2 1. And he grounds one to the right side. Massey. And that is That's that. Enough. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 2 0 ball game. This is Mets baseball on the show, NYC. Set for the bottom of the third. So up now for Kansas City, MJ Melendez. And a pitch. Lined into left center, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. And one pitch into the inning. It's a leadoff double. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. <laughs> Nate Eaton steps in for the Royals. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Well, the offense really struggled last night. I mean, it was awful. So I, I think picking up a run right here, that's going to get him going a little bit. And first offering is fouled off. That one is upstairs. Oh, no. Ground ball left side. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting no to get there, just rolled seven. over it, got the ground Shut ball. Up. So the batting order Junior. turns over. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and okay. record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Runner at second here, one gone. 
Next offering is fouled back. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The next pitch misses, and it's two and two. Here's a high chopper. Got him looking for the K. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. Here's the second baseman, Michael Massey. 0 for 1 so far. If you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure these guys are chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here early in this game. Runner at second, two down. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt. In the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind. Has to. Oh, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. New inning getting started. Here's Starling Marte. The right fielder, number six. Starling Marte. Here comes a pitch. That's a little bit low. Well, these Mets showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. The 1-1. One, one. That one drifts inside. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. The next offering misses. Full count now. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I'll tell you what, he earned that walk. And now here is Brett Beatty. Doubled his first time up. That ball misses one. the zone, and that is ball one. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Reyes gets it back in quickly. Rudder stops at second, and the first two reach to start the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And here's the catcher, Omar Narvaez. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Ground ball left side could be 2. And he can't come up with it. There to beat him by an eyelash. DJ Stewart up now for the Mets. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. And that's in there for strike one. Two outs. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat. Drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ball game. Ball one there. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch.
One, two now. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Runner at third, two away. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. And now it's filled up. Brandon Nimmo up next. So now three and two. Lace down the line, and now maybe extra bases. In comes the run from third to add on. It's three zip. Stewart into second, and he's got a double. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. So up next, Brandon Nimmo. To the right side. Gathers and throws to first. And that will end the inning. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 3 0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Vinny Pasquantino. And the pitch. That's in for a strike. Swing and a miss as he was late. I think he was sitting off speed there. And the 0 2. And there's ball. a ball. One ball, two strikes. Fights that one away, still one and two. Kicks and deals. Ground ball right side. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Royals. Fran Mil Reyes. He's over one. And that one is lifted in the air. Nimmo has it sized up. And puts the squeeze on that. Two down. Now that the designated hitter. And now it's going to be Edward Olivares. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. Olivares started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and that's going to be ruled a swing. And a pitch. Bounce to the right, McNeil. On to first, inning over. Nothing doing for the Royals. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. Back here at the ballpark, and now it's Frankie Lindor. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. The pitch. And ball one. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender but this guy is special and you can see it in his first step quickness 2 and 0 to Cal here it comes and a ground ball to first he takes it on his own out. and a quick out number 1 the batter number 1 second baseman Jeff Jeff McNeil, McNeil stands in
into center. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Two outs, space is empty. Pete Alonzo up now for the Mets. Lifted in the air, right center field. Eaton should have this one. And that's the third out. Nothing doing for the Mets, but they lead it 3 0. Welcome back. And yeah, the batter now, Drew Waters. The center fielder, Drew Waters. The wind of the pitch. And he pumps it a strike. Oh, he's looking great so no far. Ball. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Well, these Royals need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Now, that's a tough play for the now infielder, bad. ranging no, back into the you. outfield. There's part Hunter. of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? No, Call sure. me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Dozier takes oh, no. low second trip to the plate in this one. Next offering is in for a strike. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. A little out front there as he swings through it. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective the pitching catcher. is getting Number ahead one. in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Oh. Melendez swings through that one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. That's in there. That's strike two. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. In the air, out towards left center. Nimmo makes a nice run and catch. Royals go down one, two, three. Still down three nothing. Now on the bump, Josh Taylor. He last pitched two days ago. Here's Daniel Vogel back. Taylor goes six feet, five inches, 245 pounds, and they traded for him earlier this year. And he deals. Pitch that's misses, and that's ball one. Next offering is fouled back. Ball to strike. Outside. Oh. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Here's a 2 1. To the right side, Massey. And that's one Lead out up. as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. The right fielder, number six. Starling. So digging in, Starling Marte. Marte, a former Gold Glove winner, 34-year-old vet, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. That missed wow. inside. Ball one. Bullpen action for the Royals. Nick Wickren getting ready to go. 
Bubich getting loose as well. The lefty to 1 0. -oh. Cap dances out of the way of that one. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 -oh count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Kicks and fires. Comes up empty. That's strike two. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Next pitch misses, and it's three and two. And there's ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, a game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So up next, Brett Beatty. Beatty goes six feet, three inches, 210 pounds, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 325 at his last 10 games. Pitch ball. misses inside. Ball one. One ball. No strike. Marte of the move. It's ball. a pitch out. Throw there. Safe. Well, I'm sure they're pretty frustrated. They guessed right on the pitch out. The throw was okay, but they still couldn't cut him down. Aside from a bad jump, they stood no chance at catching him right there. Marte, the runner at second with one away. Off the mark there. Three balls, no strikes. This one high in the air to left center. Makes the grab on the run. And there's two away. And next for the Mets, Omar Narvaez. Ball one, no strikes. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next offering is in for a strike. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. 1-1 one, one now. Way high. That's inside. DJ Stewart. Would be next if they can extend the inning. And he's homered already, so I'm sure he'd love a chance to do some more damage here. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now back left field. DJ. DJ Stewart up now for the Mets. He's already homered here in this one. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. No ball. One strike. Strike two. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. Gets the Mets three and the Royals nothing.
bottom of the six. And to the plate for Kansas City, Nate Eaton. Peterson back to work. That clips the corner. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. That right. one's in there. No balls, two strikes. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Now it's the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. That one finds the corner. 0-1. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. And a pitch. Fouled off left side. Nobody out. Runner at first. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief no right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. That catches the top part of the zone. Strike one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Hammered on a line to the left. Base hit. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Everything came together for him. He obviously put a very nice swing on that pitch and really drove it towards the gap. But I'm pretty surprised he only ended up on first right there. And it's kind of hard to say if there was some hesitation or if they just decided to play it safe. Reyes, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. Corners are occupied with two down. Next offering is foul back. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, oh, slightly in. Next pitch is outside. Two and one. Ah. And now two and two. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Called out on strikes. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. Royals strand a pair. They trail it here. Three nothing. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Nick Wickren. This is his third time out this year. Number 64. Brandon Nimmo digs in now. And 
and here it comes. Chopper right side. Tosses to first. Out. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Now batting. Shortstop. Francisco. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Good eye right there. And that one fouled off. Next offering misses, and now three and one. Bounce to the left side. Dozier on to first. Lindor retired. Up next for the Mets, the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. So two down now, and here is Jeff McNeil. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. The next pitch misses. Now 1 and 2. Left hand batter waits. Fouls it off, still one and two. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Next one off the plate inside. Three and two now. Pete Alonzo. Waiting to hit for the Mets. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a bouncer. To first. Got and that is out. that. Down in order go the Mets. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Adam Adovino getting the call to the mound. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Adam Adovino. So here's the Royals DH. Edward Olivares. One for two. Edward. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. In plenty of time to first, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. The center fielder, number six, Drew. And next up for the Royals, Drew Waters. Pitch Ball misses one. there, and it's one to know. Foul ball. Here's a 1 1. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. The 1 2. Dives and he can't hang on. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. 
So up now for Kansas City, Hunter Dozier. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And a foul ball. The 0 2. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Next is the Royals catcher, MJ Melendez. Swing and a ball lifted left field. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. A new arm into the game, the righty, Dylan Coleman. And he's been hit pretty hard at times this year, so he's looking for better. Right now, giving up more than a hit per inning. And now, Pete Alonso. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. The pitch. Swings through that one out in front that time. And the righty deals. Next offering is outside. At the belt and fires. Swings through it for the K. Ugly cut on the slider for strike three. No, oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. So digging in, Daniel Vogel back. And it's 0-1. That one ball. missed. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. One and two. That was straight queso right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Eaton settles under it and makes the catch. Two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Next to hit, Starling Marte. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Righty delivers. Drive. One one. And Drive. one and two. And a swing and a miss. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Mets go down quickly, but they lead it 3-0.
Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, David Robertson. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these guys better be ready to swing the bats. Nate Eaton steps in for the Royals. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Turned on, but foul wide of third. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a oh. premier position. And that's what he One does. Out there to center, Nimmo has it sized up. Makes the grab, and there's one down. The batter number seven. Back to the top of the lineup, and here is Bobby Witt Jr. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Riding to the play. Right through there for a strike. 1-1. One, one. Late swing, fouled off. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And there's another strikeout, and those are just no continuing to pile three. off. His confidence Second level has man. got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment, but get back on track. His team needs him. Massey in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. And strike two. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Fights it off, he'll see another. Two down, nobody on. Got him looking for the K. Froze him with a backdoor slider. So they bring on the veteran, Aroldis Chapman. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with a lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. And stepping in for New York, Brett Beatty. And the pitch. Bounce to third. Slings it across, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Up next to the net, the catcher, Omar Now the catcher Narvaez. up to hit, Omar Narvaez. Chapman, multi-time All-Star, 35 years old, and he was born in Cuba. Swings and misses, and that is strike one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Taylor Clark up and loosening in the pen. And now the lefty, way out front for strike two. Checks his swing, appeal to third, and yes, he did. Jerry Hillsdale rings him up. DJ Stewart up now for the Mets. He's already homered in this game. That's hard hit in the line. Can't get their base hit. Around first and hustling for second. Pulls in with a double third hit for him today. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. This one in the dirt. 
and no movement on the bases it's ball one. Stewart at second with two down. And there's the strike. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it. But he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. That one misses. Two balls and a strike. Now a high fly ball out to left center. He dives, but he can't make the catch. The tag out. But one run does score on the play before the inning ends. But they push across one run on two hits, no errors, and nobody left on. High to the order, 3-4-5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Mets four and the Royals. Back here in Kansas City, bottom of the ninth. And now, Vinny Pasquantino. So they turn to Edwin Diaz out of the pen. He's thrown the ball very well overall this season. He's been really tough to get to. You see that ERA, and that's where you love to be. Now, the pitch. Swing and a pop up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Here comes a pitch. That takes low for ball one. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Makes the grab one away. So here's the cleanup hitter, Fran Mil Reyes. You know, Chris, I'm told that Edwin Diaz keeps an entire bucket of bubble gum in his locker. It's a whole lot of sugar. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Diaz, in his eighth season, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a two-seamer. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Nicky Lopez up to the plate, not having as much success with the bat here at home as you see the splits. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. And no, downstairs. Hard hit to third. On to first. Ball game. And the Mets have won four in a row. Oh, you can see these guys are feeling it right now. Look at the smiles. Look at the high fives. They feel real good about this three-game series sweep, and they get it done on the road. You talk about the confidence that that can produce. Tell you what, they're riding high right now. It's a nice win in this game. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. And the road team picks up the win and picks up a sweep. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long. The final line score for this afternoon's ballgame for the victorious New York Mets.
four runs, seven hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For Kansas City, no runs, five hits, no errors. They left five men on base.